Welcome to 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and I'm broadcasting live from Frankfurt, Germany. Um, today's topic is how to stay humble and what does it mean to be humble? Existence has a way of, in a mysterious way, it has a way of keep reflecting back to you that the more you are in, in this place of acceptance, of accepting what is, the more you let go of this illusory sense of control, the more gratitude comes in your life and the more humble you become. You become grateful for everything that you have, all the gifts that the existence is giving you. And you begin to see that and appreciate it. And humility comes, you become humble because you also see that life can be very harsh and very difficult as it is for a lot of people because they simply don't have the connection to the divine self. They don't have the communication. They don't communicate regularly. So then therefore it's the ego comes. There is the sense of me, look at me, look at me. I am really big and bad and I have a lot of money and I can control people. I have a lot of employees, I have land and homes and this and that. And I can force my will on other people and I can force my will on life, existence. So there is this total sense of separation and total sense that I am the author of my own life. I'm the one who calls the shots. But as you get closer, as you begin to communicate, as you begin to develop the language of heart and start to sense and feel that there is a greater power, there is the intelligence, there is God, there is that. There's something that is bigger than you, especially when you come to these moments in your life that you're desperate. When you come to these moments in life that you're completely helpless, whether it's a physical issue, that you've been sick for a long time, or you've developed some life-threatening health issue, and then you get humbled. You start praying. You start asking the higher force to help you. And somehow to this event, if you're lucky, humility starts to come. Humbleness starts to come because you know there's something bigger than you. Or you are in the life uh, challenge with financial issues, financially you're suffering, something happened, you were big and bad, but now you lost, you made bad investments, or you got cheated, or you got fooled, or somehow you have lost your assets, your money, and now you're getting humbled. Now you're starting to pay attention to the world of spirit and listening to your heart, following the language of the heart, and you're starting to get a feel that there is something bigger than you. And maybe it's better to pay attention because you're asking why. Why did this happen to me? Why me? So now it's getting, a, getting your attention. Your attention is going in that direction. Or we lose somebody, we lose in, it's a 
let's say, love that we have lost. Somebody we're, in, we're, we're romantically in love with, they've le left us, they've lost, we have lost them, or it's a loved one, something happened. Someone close to us is being diagnosed with terminally ill illness, something, or shock treatment. You get in a bad car accident, you lose your job, something happens, and maybe sometimes several different events happening one after the other, and you're, you keep losing, losing this, losing that. So now existence, the force, is got you is getting your attention and now you're paying attention and slowly slowly you start to realize this flexing your muscles that hey look at me look at me i'm big and bad and i can kick ass and i can control my whatever is in it's in my field and I'm in control of this and I'm in control of that, you start to lose control and not be able to pull it together. And starting to just get a feel like, wait a minute, I used to be able to be in control of things and call the shots. I was the Mr. Bat, Mr. Big Shot, but now I'm getting my butt kicked big time and what's going on what's happening here so you begin to pay attention to this communication and of course in your early stages before you become and get get to the come to the path you may go through this place that feeling like a victim and you're a victim you've been cheated you've been screwed by life, by existence, by people. But then, slowly, slowly, you begin to see that this is coming from grace, and grace is actually shining her love on you by humbling you, going through a humbling experience, maybe one after the other. I mean, we all have maybe experience being on the top, and falling off the grace, falling from the top to the bottom. And you got your company, you have your employees, you're making a lot of money, you're traveling all the time, you're going to great parties, spending money, doing this, doing that, and then you begin to lose everything, and now you're at the bottom of the ladder, and you begin to respect life, respect the force, and uh, be humble. And some of us have gone through these periods, have gone through these different stages in life, and recognize the communication with the divine self, recognizing that you're continuously all the time in communication with your higher self, with Her Majesty, with life, existence, the entire existence con continuously is talking to you.